Welcome to the NASA training session for how to make a photograph for Mars. Now, folks, I have to keep giving this training session because we have to keep firing people. We've got very, very easy guidelines to go by. All you got to do is find a piece of land on Earth, something that maybe has a rock it or something like that that you see right here. It doesn't matter if it's green, folks we're going to make it not green and they'll believe anything we tell them. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into something that looks a lot like this. So the first thing that we got to do is because we want to make sure, and let me beat this through your head, okay, because everybody gets this wrong, we have to keep firing them. You cannot allow green to show in the photograph because then those people are going to think we got life on Mars and we're going to have all kinds of problems with religious folks and everything else including our black ops programs so the first thing that you gotta do is you gotta go up to your colors and you gotta desaturate everything by desaturating everything you have no worries about making anything green now it's all black and white we're gonna give it color but we're only gonna give it one color because that's what these idiots believe is they believe that Mars is just red it's amazing. So the next thing we got to do is we got to make the sky look completely fake. And what we do is we color the sky one solid color like we have right here. So we make sure we get all these clouds out of the sky. So let me show you how we're going to do that real quick. All right. After you've selected everything above the uh, mountain range, all the sky area, what you're going to do is you're going to use your eyedropper and you're going to capture what one of our you know, typical artists, you know, the, the way they've made the color of the sky. You just got to go and capture that real quick and just go over here and get rid of the sky. Just like that. Alright, once you got your sky and you got your ground looking okay, make sure y'all don't leave that van out there like that. We've had people do that before. <laughs> Dag nabbit. So, if you, uh, it basically what you'll do now is you're going to select this area up here, which is the sky, and then you're going to inverse that so you capture everything but that. And then, since you've already got all this stuff uh, desaturated, then what you're going to do is you're going to colorize it. And then we're going to make it the color of choice. And it's going to be something about like that right there. And then we just need to add our final touch. And once you throw our little rover on there, those idiots won't know any better. So what we're going to do here real quick is we're going to take a look at the comparison and see what you can accomplish with just five minutes of work. But I'm warning you, y'all need to stop putting the green in your photographs because uh, people are finding out. So let's take a look at the comparison. And here you go. We have before and we have after. Now y'all try to get this right from now on, alright? <laughs> 